Good morning, Flint. A special appeal to the sons and daughters of Flint. It's really time to speak up and cause change. They're actually expecting us to in the master plan process, in the charter revision process, and in terms of wanting to change the culture of Flint, that means more of you need to get involved. And the sooner more of you get involved, the sooner Snyder and Early will get out of town. But that's just my thought. One thing I'm going to point out, if you watch the actions of Early, he's actually shown us his Achilles heel. Early thinks his strength is to pummel those who speak negatively about him. The bottom line is, he's a narcissist. He can't take criticism. So you need to up the criticism of Mr. Early. Hold him accountable on all the professional criteria that he says he brought to the table. And he's shown us basically nothing except the disassembly. He's just shown us his weakness, so critique him in every way. Look at what he's done. Garbage trucks subjected us to a monopoly. We sold our fleet. Public golf courses to private friends. Public safety is down. Police and fire are down. It just sets the stage for regional government, which is what the they's want. It's not in our interest, because Flynn will be barely represented at the table when that happens. So police and fire are just the beginning. Garbage is just the beginning. The stage is being set for regionalization and privatization. That's the agenda. That's been the agenda all along. Look what he's done. He's eradicated, sorry about the shade. He's eradicated our favorite son, Paul Herring. And I'm doing this on a cell phone, and I'm holding the cell phone in my left hand. He's eradicated our favorite son, Paul Heron, just tossed him like an old dishwasher, dishwasher. That's sad. They have stole our public farmer's market and replaced it with a private downtown market. I love the downtown market, but what happened to my Flint farmer's market by the river? Who decided to shut that down? Not my elected officials. Some private people that were given the trust through a 501c3 to run this forest took it from us. That's about it. Um, they gave away our public Atwood Stadium to a private entity. Now that entity is Kettering University, and that's, that's not, no, they aren't chumps. But they took a public commodity and gave it to a private entity. Again, see the pattern, public entities, okay, go to private entities. Here's, that's what's happening. There's threats to sell Hurley Hospital to buck for a buck to the Chosen Six downtown. They're denying it now, but that rumor's been all over the place. They set up curfew so our kids couldn't go downtown for their back to the bricks. Okay. Um, they're forcing an artificial change to the image of Flint. I am not talking about the Auto P. Graf statue. That's the only legitimate one downtown that I can think of. By eradicating the footprint of labor in this town, our image is being replaced with a bunch of dead white guys in bronze statues that had something to do with the organization of the good General Motors that uh, bankrupted us and left town. Why is the community quiet? Why are your community leaders quiet? Why are your community organizations quiet? I don't get it. The downtown sex have worked this very, very well. My hat's off to them. Their ability to organize this is phenomenal. Our mayor, uh, he's been trained like a puppy to be quiet and not pee on the carpet. That's about all he's doing. The agenda is trickle down, trickle down from downtown to the neighborhoods. What political party have you heard that theory from before? So they've taken our personal money to drive us out of town. Our water rates are up. We have special assessments destroying our property values for a lot of different reasons, some not theirs. The poor, in the end, are being driven out. The landlords are being driven out. Property is being vacated, and now it's going to be torn down. You're going to start to see large chunks of, of publicized property, which comes back to the public, being sold off to private developers. That is the plan. Flint is being gentrified, the poor are being put out. What leadership do we have left? The poor shell of a manager, the EMF, who's stealing our public, a our public assets 
and privatizing them. And his actions can only be described as, <laughs> I can't even pronounce this word, E R <laughs> Eregonus, E G R E G I O U S. Would somebody tell me how you pronounce that and what the heck it means? Unfair and obnoxious. Those are his quotes. Again, the surest way to get ourselves rid of Mr. Early is to defeat the governor that appointed him. So in this general election, vote for Mark Shower to save Flint from Early. And if you want to drive Early a little crazy, start criticizing him publicly at every turn in those areas that he actually deserves to be. Criticize. My name is Terry Banker. I love this town. I really hate being the naysayer here. Let's all pull together and rebuild this place.